Well, we have reached the stage of the card now. We are at the co-main event for the CPBC Eastern Canadian Championship. As making his way to the ring right now is Marco Zalia from Niagara Falls, Ontario. Record of 6-1-1. One, and, one. and this is always a, a big important fight. Really a first opportunity for some of these guys to win some championships. And right for you, fighting for, you obviously fought for titles before. This is the first time some of these guys are gonna get to fight for titles. What's that pressure like? <laughs> I know Marco well. He's looked for this, he's wanted this for so long. I'm so happy for him that he's finally got the opportunity. He's, it's, it's gonna be something. <laughs> Well, if it's been anything like tonight, we should be in for a real treat in oh, our co main in Maine. And now, about to and as you can see, Marco has Jesse in his corner. He's, he's part of Boot City Boxing. And here comes. Marco Zalia's opponent in Paul Ispas. This for the CPBC Eastern Canadian title. And there you see the record of Ispas, 4-2-3. and three. But a big opportunity for both fighters here. And for Ispas as well. You know, this is a guy from a, a great fight town of Hamilton, Ontario. And he looks to pick up his first title as well with some fight fans that didn't make it too far of a trek. Ladies and gentlemen, what? wisdom, promotion, But let's make this one officially underway. Left for the Canadian Professional Boxing Council Eastern Canadian Junior Welterweight Championship. Your judges score in the bout at ringside, Jasper Sujavski, Martin Dalida, and Steve Weisfeld. And once the bell rings, the third man in the ring, Floyd Porter. Introducing first, on my right, fighting out of the blue corner and tonight wearing black, trimmed with white. His official weight, 144 and a half pounds. He enters the ring with a record of six wins against one defeat and one draw. Four wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of and representing Niagara Falls, Ontario. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Marco Corner and tonight wearing white, trimmed with red. His official weight is 144 and three quarter pounds. His professional record consists of four wins against two defeats and three draws. One win coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Hamilton, Ontario. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Paul Gentlemen, when you were giving your instructions in the changing room, I expect you to obey those instructions. This is for my commands at all times. Remember to protect yourselves at all times. Both belt lines are good. Touch gloves now if you wish. Come out at the bell. Our third and final man inside the ring is referee Floyd Porter. Here we go. This pass in the white trunks with the red trim. And Marco Zalia in the black with white trim. This pass with a quick shot to the body. Once again, Ray, just the nerves of this being a title fight. That's got to be huge on both fighters. It's, it is. Marco is really calm. He's not really pushing the fight as, whereas Paul is swinging for the fence. Yeah, Marco uh, Zalia looked very cool, calm, and collect in the corner. Yep. Oh, an iron focus, really. That's exactly it. Oh, there you go. 
as now Sally is trying to put Ipsas back. Good uppercut there from Ispas. Zalia trying to back down here in his pass. This fight is eight rounds for the CPBC Eastern Canadian title. Marco has to be careful. He has to pick up the pace a little bit. Yes, conservation of energy, but you still have to throw punches. Yeah, it's a little good footwork display, but you gotta let it's, your hands go. You gotta let the hands go. You have to throw something. Paul's really pushing the pace, but Marco's not Ex budging. Exactly. It's one of these. Uh, as we were talking about, we haven't seen a lot of feeling out process, real feeling out process right now mm -hmm. for Zalia. As Isbes trying to find his moments, having the better of them. He's really using his lead hand to, to set up those shots to the body and those quick shots, uh, right hooks to the head. But Marco's just patiently waiting for his shot, but maybe too patiently. He's way too patient. He's, he's looking for a winner. Well, you're not going to find the winner normally in that opening round. The good thing he's got eight, though. Oh, oh, there's a big punch, though, from Zalia, just as the round ends. I think both connected with a good shot. They both connected though. in that. I, I, I didn't really catch who caught who. I feel like uh, both caught a good shot, but just Marco was on the end that uh, made him slip, so. But then again, the judges see that. You never know what they're looking for as sure well. Enough, so. Exactly. It depends on the angle. But there you see in Marco's alley, now you see Paul Ipsas, who had probably the, the better moments of that round, getting his hands to fly and, and go out. But, Ray, if you're in uh, the corner here of Marco's alley, obviously you want to be, to be a little bit more active. Precisely. He's, he's throwing big punch combinations, and he has... Crazy power, good accuracy, what have you, but he's not setting them up. Something as simple as just throwing the jab. Throwing the jab, giving the guy, I like to call it sand in the eyes. Throw some sand in the eyes, then do what you gotta do. <laughs> busy, busy with that jab. There we go. Well, Zalia, though, tries to take the center of the ring early and own that generalship. But still keeping his hands up against himself and not putting them on his pass. That was a quick angle by Ispas just to get on the outside of uh, Marco's left foot. Yeah. So he's a little busier with the jab this round, it seems. Yeah. And there it that's is. It. That's it. That's all it takes. That's, that's the only thing that's missing. Let's just... It's keeping Espas honest, but when it's not out there, just allowing him to walk all over him. And Ray, for the viewers at home that maybe don't watch a lot of boxing, the jab is the ultimate tool for a fight. 100%. Most important uh, weapon in your arsenal. And there's a good there body shot there from Zalia. There we go. As Zalia is trying to find a way to get his hands to go once again. He's had good moments here in the second round. He needs to cut the ring off. Marco, that is. Yeah. Well, he's trying to find a way. There's a good body punch, though, from Zalia. Well, now, Ipsa, there's Ipsas letting it, uh, his pass, letting things go. I say rolls were a little reversed so far here. And there's a good. Also overhand right that time from Zalia. This pass is really off balance when he's moving to his right. So if Marco can, can use that to his advantage with his left hook, By I, all think, means. I think the night will be over. 
Oh, there's a good double jab combo that time from his pass. Right he, there. Has, he lets him off the hook. Yeah. He has him up against the ropes. He just did a, sh a nice left left hook. Uh, this pass would block right into it. Oh, oh, there it is. There oh, it is. Good hook that time from Zalia. And now oh. we're starting to get a firefight. Now he switches in the south club position. Like he's starting to find oh, his punches. Oh, good body shot, shot there shot. from Zalia. Great body shot. Starting to mix it up. Well, we've seen throughout the night the body shot is a very effective weapon. And now his pass gets off the ropes and pushes Zalia back. And there's clinch scenario. Under 10 seconds, and there is the bell to end the second round. Beautiful work by Marco in the ending of that, uh, of that round. Yeah, it was a, once again, very competitive round, two back and forth moments, but there Zalia had some more moments, got to go to the body and, and got off the ropes a little bit more. Yeah. But if you're in Ispat's corner here, guys, what are you trying to say to him? Avoid that left hook. You see, that's what, uh, Marco was landing that left hook later in that round, and uh, it was really making the difference, and then it set up all his other shots. I feel like uh, Paul's been woken up by uh, some of Marco's punches, so he's got to be aware of that. Yeah, it looked like we were going to get that kind of firefight that we've seen all through the night towards the end of that round, but still early, and as we're saying, this is a title fight, so you don't want to maybe take your risks too early if you don't have to. Exactly. They have time, they have time to work, but... So here we go, third round. That second round was tough to score. Exactly. And Zalia tries to put his pass up against the corner. Oh, there's, there's a good hook again. Fall by a right. Just but missed. misses those. Clips the left hook that time on his pass. Shot to the body from his pass. And now, no. Zalia's finding his form. Yep. Oh. Good slip, though, from his pass. Good hook, and there's a hook fall back from his pass. Another good hook. Right hand from his pass. Now Zalia's trying to do what you're saying, right? Cut the ring off. Good shot to the body from his pass. That straight left to the body by his pass has been really effective. And he's really finding his form with those body punches. It was Zalia in round two that had the success with the body yep. punches. There's a straight to the body that time from Zalia. Still both fighters really being cautious to for the most part as we hitting a minute left here in the third round. Had, each had some moments. Nothing no one really wants to force it. Oh. Hook from Zalia that puts his pass on the seat of his pants. He was waiting for that moment, all fight for that left hook. He caught his pass moving to the right. There it is. And there it is once again. Oh, beautiful setup. Oh, wow. Another left again from Zalia. Very patient. Oh, oh. Put it down! Zalia's down! He got caught in a counter right, wow. I believe, from his pass. It's just that kind of night of fights here in Brantford. And that makes it very interesting to score. <laughs> it's a 9 9 round. Wow. See what, who's going to come on strong in the final seconds oh, here? Oh, oh his pass got caught with a right. 
is Pest firing back, and there goes the bell to end wow. the third round. Gosh. What a round. What a round, and what a fight so far. We still uh, have four blink. rounds to go. <laughs> don't blink. My goodness, what a round. Just when you thought got each fighter was being a little bit extra too cautious, Zalia hits that left hook, puts his pass on the canvas, and then his pass lands a good counter right just as Zalia comes on in. What a crazy night of fights we've had here, guys. Yeah, I think Zalia, that, that knockdown, he didn't even see the punch coming. It was in that weird angle where he just, he just, uh, the punch landed uh, pretty lucky for his pass. And he just, yeah. Marco got the, uh, didn't get the good half of it, that's for sure. Yeah, I don't think Zalia could believe he got caught with it because really? he kind of pushed his pass a little bit back. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Those are the punches, though, you got to watch out for because yep. Zalia was wobbled. And this is one of these fights where I would hate to be a judge. <laughs> I would absolutely hate to be a judge if we go the full eight rounds. Yeah, a lot of these fights so far have been very tough to score. As there's his pass. Wins a good left. We see if Zali's a little more cautious this time. Let his hands go, but his pass now feeling the momentum from the end of the third. That's one of those things about knockdowns. You get excited and then sometimes you get caught with your emotions. As they say, the, the wounded tigers are the most dangerous. As his pass goes to the body. Oh. Nice counter left hook. Zali is trying to find some counters as well. Exactly. As the rules have reversed here. Paul's busy. He's, 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 he's chipping away and winning the round. We are just being busy. Oh, oh, but they're... They're both throwing leather. <laughs> Look at these body <laughs> shots. They count. Oh, oh they good count. right hand from Ispas. But Salia throws a good right of his own. So does the body. One more time for Zalia. Wow, just an incredible testament from both these fighters to eat some shots and give them back. This shows the competitive nature of, of both fighters. <laughs> shows how great the matchmaker here oh, is too. Yeah, He's exactly. done a fantastic job with this guy. Good oh. uppercut there from Zalia. Zalia heard him. Zalia heard him. He... I, I think so too. Oh, oh there, 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 there's the right hand. He's gotta be hurt now. Oh, oh there's the left from Zalia. Wow. Think as to your point, Ray, his pass is hurt. As now his pass trying to get oh, a quick uppercut nice uppercut again uppercut. from Zalia. He's starting to catch his rhythm. But he knows that he can't be a little too over aggressive. Exactly. He got caught in the third. Exactly. You gotta be cautious still. His pass will fire back with a good right of his own. Well, Here's that left again. Zalia has found his range. Oh, oh one two combo. Whoa. His pass looks to be a little bit hurt. Wow. Oh, wow. right, left from Zalia. Zalia, oh. and that is his pass hey. run on rubber legs. And that's the end of the round. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, oh. The action was so oh, hot and beautiful. strong. Wow. I don't, we couldn't hear the bell, but that is the end of the round. And his pass finds a way to stay on his feet as he ate some good punches oh, ever. from Zalia. I feel like the biggest thing is Zalia found his range in that round. He looked very comfortable in there. Yeah, he definitely looked the most composed we've seen of him in that fourth round as the fifth round is coming up but very very accurate in that that last half of that round but you look uh, across at the his pass corner he's breathing heavy and he's he's wearing more of the damage as well throughout this fight and he's been moving a lot more too so the legs are going to get tired so 
and here we go, fifth round. Looks like Zalia is coming out with bad intentions. Yeah, Zalia probably senses he can oh, end it. Zalia with another one. left to the body. Oh, uppercut! Wobbled. Yeah, he's, you can tell he's worse for wear, uh, is his pass. There's his pass though. Oh, good combo! Beautiful and he had his hands down to his pass and he got caught. Wow. Left, right, from oh, Zalia. Here comes the uppercut. Oh, the oh, big wow. right from Zalia, but Race his pass back. fires back. Oh. Another right from Zalia. Zalia wow. keeps pouring it on, but his pass won't go down. I don't know how he's on his feet. Zalia, once again, and a big left oh. that time from his pass. How is Ispas on his feet? I have no idea. He eats another punch that time. Wow. Right from Zalia. Oh, and a right that time. Left. <laughs> Zalia senses this is over, but I don't know what's keeping Ispas <laughs> up. He's got an iron chin, too. <laughs> iron chin, what iron heart, iron what will. What is it going to take? Shots to the body now from Zalia. Wow. How is he on his feet? It's just that will, that heart and determination. I think Zalia's getting tired from trying to put him down. And that, that is something to keep our eyes on. Will Zalia's conditioning stand up? He's just oh. been loading a bunch of punches, but his pass, oh. and finally he takes a knee. That was like 70 to 80 punches that his pass took. Will, he get Will his pass wow. get up? His pass gets up, staggers to a neutral corner. He's gonna come towards referee Floyd Porter. He wants to continue, oh. this will stay on. Round five will continue with oh. 53 seconds left. His pass tries to slip. Zalia going to the body. Oh. Nice work by Ispath. Now Ispath throwing back. punches back. Me? Ispath, Ispath wow. lands some good laps. He wants it. Ispath tries the uppercut. Zalia lands as well. Zalia's got a wall. Oh. He'll make it up this I time. Don't know. He'll make it up. He'll make it up. His pass will go to the neutral corner. Let's go. Hey, work that job. Wow. Wow. The heart of his the pass. The heart of his pass. Paul is pass. And he tries to come forward, but oh. Zalia unloads and referee stops at the corner, oh. throws in the towel. And this fight is what? over. The CPBC Eastern Canadian Champion. What a performance. What a perfor what a round. 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 What a fight. Unbelievable action. As Zalia found his range, was able to get that left hand going, and then when he sensed danger in the fifth, he unloaded. And I don't know how Ispath ate 80 of those punches. Oh, I have How? No that was speechless. Tip my hat to him. <laughs> <laughs> there were some moments there I wasn't sure we were gonna see the end of that fight because of Ispath's ability to eat those punches and try to come forward. Credit as well to Paul Ispass, the tough fighter wow. from Hamilton. He took a lot of good punches, but he Marco Zalia. But Marco Zalia, though, as you said, Ray, he hits hard. He's got some good punches. He sits on them. He sits and on them. He him. sat on them, and he Did sits he out. Oh my God! A championship around his waist when he sits down tonight. He's got the strap. This is incredible. I remember when. He I remember his first day in the gym. Well, what his a first day ever boxing. Well, what a moment then for you, Ray, to see that it's someone incredible. just learning how to throw a punch. The one thing we do know, he eventually learned how to throw a mean left hook. Because oh, did he that, ever? Mean, that left hook was probably the best punch he threw in the fight. And he eventually stops Paul Ispas just as the fifth round was coming to a close. Wow.
huge performance from his pass. He had to suffer some adversity as well. He remember he got dropped towards the end of the second round as well. Had yep. to regroup. He got dropped in the second round. Did, yep. did Zali, Barbie. and then he had to regroup. So he faced some adversity. He really yep. earned this Barbie. title. The, the composure was really a bit of aspect to this win. The whole fight he was composed. He was so composed. Even after that knockdown, he, he came back, he adjusted, and he really started to find his range after that. Well, let's throw up to the ring announcer, David Naiman. comes at 2 minutes, 57 seconds of the fifth round. The referee in charge, Floyd Porter, waves off the contest, declaring your winner and the new Canadian professional boxing castle, Eastern Canadian Junior Welterweight Champion, Marco Sale! Let's take a look at some of the highlights of this crazy CPBC Eastern Canadian title fight. And here is Zalia going to work early. This is the first knockdown. It wasn't really a knockdown, it was a slip. Yeah. And then Zalia just unloading. That quick but, shot. But there's the knockdown that Ispas had on Zalia. Whoa. Before Zalia was able to weather that storm and regroup, and finally here he puts his pass uh, down on that. the canvas after eating like 80 punches. Oh my word! Oh my word! This looks, I believe, this is the finishing sequence. Or no, that's goes on a knee. Does his pass? Well, there it is. First there it is. title there for Marco Zalia. And that guy's, that's a very skilled fighter going on at 7 1 and 1. Marco Zalia, he's a very talented fighter for the great future. First title, 7 1 and 1 as a pro. Yep. As we were talking about before, a lot of guys, sky's for sure the limit for Marco Zalia. Yeah.